What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So the Randolph happened last time. Uh, we are at war with the Ottomans again and we are fighting in the Balkans and rather than stay uh, sta um, static on our uh, northeastern Italian position I've pushed the Venice garrison out to attack the city of Zagreb because there appears to be very few forces in the area and we're going to um, support them with forces from uh, recruited from Venice and get forces gathered in Rome. Um, but without further ado, let's crack on and attack the city of Zagreb. There's a couple of interesting units here, um, but they will not stand. They will, we will capture Croatia, and then that will be a stepping stone towards the likes of Vienna, Serbia, and just joining up our front lines. Which would be quite nice. We can then push the Ottomans off of the continental mass. And then we will A, have a front line open towards the Russians. But we will also have a uh, the Swedish troops surrounded. Well, the Swedish position on the continent surrounded. But let's just create a fairly normal front line. Chiefly because I do not want to fight through the town. So let's get our howitzers to deploy themselves. Let's get the forward group to deploy in a fairly non-controversial position. And then let's get these guys to start marching over to the right flank because I want to push them up and around this sort of direction. And let's get my general to meet them. So we're on the 103rd, 19th, 68th, 13th, 67th, 46th, 59th, 23rd. So their troops are falling back. Where are their guns? Some howitzer units, some foot artillery units. But they're mostly a large amount of chaff. Not particularly great units. So this position... To be honest, these guys just push up. Just march up and take their position. Um, my army that was originally going to be a flanking army, you can just take up a position behind them as reinforcements. Push the houses up one more step before I'm placing them. Bring up our general. And these are their riflemen. They look pretty neat. And it's speed up time though, just because... They're not pushing on us. We're not pushing on them. Well, we will push on them, but it looks like they're yeah they're definitely uh, redeploying in the face of our flanking manoeuvre. But I don't think well ours is going to be the more successful because we just have significantly better troops. What I'm tempted to do is use this first brigade, very expansive brigade to push around the flank and maybe send this other brigade through the town. So let's take these fellas. It's not where they'll stay, but you'll keep you'll get them marching into the right area while I then set my other infantry, the task of pushing up. My artillery can now begin opening up and it does sound like we've got just seem like a buggy sound problems which is annoying but whatever. You li they literally deployed are they all out of range. Yeah they are. They are of quick claim. With a round shot we can get them and round shots enough 
Yep. Ugh, stupid game. So we've got Janissary Grenadiers, Janissary Musketeers. Their flank over here is lots of fairly weaker troops. To be honest, let's run our formations and let's get this cooking. Some irregulars. You guys are going to be mightily surprised because we're storming your position. Let's get these grenadiers over here. They got left behind. Set the Swiss line to engage them. Get these units to set up on one flank. She looks like they're... Uh, Skirmishing is kicked in. Oh, well, I say that. Then they immediately stop. So my Swiss line will engage the, the Irregulars and take him out. All my other men to get into musket range of the Mamelukes. It sounds, I hear certain sounds that makes me think this, the audio has come back. Can you guys drop into square? Because the cavalry are coming. Yeah, you guys also drop into square because the cavalry are coming. Okay, it's putting a militia unit here to draw the fire of the rifles. So my line infantry can come around the flank and batter them with musketry. These two units of line can hold the fort in the centre of the town. The cavalry is about to get... Oh no, they're, so their dragoons have got off their horses. And Christ, we aren't occupying the town hall. Okay, this line infantry needs to push around to fill in this gap. These grenadiers, are you... Yeah, you are running. So our musketry is engaging the Mamelukes, so they shouldn't be around for too much longer when they break. Get these guys out of square formation and back into line. On this flank... Don't quite know why my line infantry stopped. Yeah. Fellain have hit me on the flank, so I'll use my line up to charge their rifles, just to even the score. Come on, Mamelukes, wave uh, and break. I mean, good. You guys run into square. Nizam infantry's coming online. One unit of troops to go around the flank there, one unit to take this position here to fire into this block of artillery. It's a pity we don't have any audio because this would be epic. That's what they got. Islamic swordsmen, just a lot of infantry and we're sat there up on the high ground. Trying to push. Muslim have charged us to help support the riflemen. Finally. The 58th should do some damage to this unit of Chancellor Grenadiers right on their flank. You're going to hold off again. Hold off these Delhi horsemen. Oh no, you broke really easily. Doesn't seem right. Turn these men in on the flank. You charge the irregulars. You men need to get around the flank. Let's 
Are these cavalry like just super duper morale busting cavalry? Because they've just torn through my formation. chase them. You guys charge into the rear of these formations in the middle of the line. Can you attack the Delhi Horsemen? You charge into the back of the Muslim. Grenadiers are holding off the bodyguard. But just keep joining in the charge in the centre. I was going to say, you guys are all pretty good decent strength units it made no sense for you guys to break engage the rifles okay you might pivot to go and engage these troops over there you guys engage your nemesis Delhi, ca Delhi cavalry Stop my artillery firing, it's clear it's not doing any good work. Let's see if they got Muslims and Riskers of Souls. They're the ones that are slowing everyone down. There we go, these men you made routes are coming after you. Snowball on into the into the other combat. Just swarm into the Delhi horsemen. The Nizam cavalry have gone. And you guys push on into these garrison Azar. Whoever is left and can form a a line to go and engage these unit of Muslim. You guys charge on into the garrison order. Ah, to be honest. Just swarm into them. They're not a particularly dangerous unit. They won't be able to stand. They're no. They're really not any better than firelock armed citizenry, except they don't even have firelocks. Yep, so they've been broken. I believe that's everyone. Yes. Good. So. The reason why this battle was quite useful is that. Yeah, I've lost nearly 1,500 men. It's a lot more than I would like. That's why I'm going to try and do some hasty repairs and mm. actually you're yeah okay because now Rome's a bit happy with us we can pull out these these infantry march them up to Venice Although I don't necessarily want to march them right up to here yet. What it has done also is it's deprived the Ottomans from two ports. And we've got a space here for a church school. And we've got one here for a church school as well. well that's good stuff. 
Mario Torcelli, you're going to march up to here. My reinforcement up. We're enforcing armies going to sit behind them. You're going to sit here and block Istanbul while they grow their strength. Yeah, but we do also have this army up here as well. But we do have force coming from the north and an army to the south ready to engage. Spain really doesn't like us, so it's probably imperative that we get back into the city. Well, actually, I think if I could take all of these men sans their artillery... Who... Okay, because the infantry... Regular infantry can definitely make it. So if I run them in. Uh, infantry, is it the, weirdly, it's the it's the cavalry that can't make it. I suppose it's kind of redundant now, really. Uh, we aren't going to make it, and I suppose they're, they're unhappy with us because we've recaptured it from the Ottomans rather than it being consistently ours. So we're probably going to still have. Some troubles over there. You're slowly becoming ours. So we are still at war with the Russians and pushing in this f in this front. That's what it's going to ultimately lead to is more attacks um, against them. I would like to take Ankara, but we do know they have significant forces in the area. And Ernesto, I know you're very keen for the job, but you're not quite up to it yet. Okay. Tech is not necessarily ideal. Verona, I'd rather have you on uh, rifling. Start to get sharpshooters and riflemen. Hurrah! Apart from that, though, I think all I can do is hit and turn and see how the AI respond. There go our priests, continuing their religious work. Devo fermarmi un poco. Yeah, they have significant numbers of armies around Ankara, so I can't just land and take it. Ooh. Vienna's not, not strongly held. I could strike north and try and hit Vienna, but I think... So what makes me nervous about that is the fact that it's a currently it's a Prussia target. Uh, it's it's a target that the Prussians have specifically attempted to go for. <laughs> See if our sloop can get anyone. Hey, we took one out. Um, but yes, so yeah, so I'm concerned because it's an Ottoman target. And I'm, I fear if I took it, then would that mean they? Uh, would they then start to declare war on me? And I know they only have one territory, but I'd rather not fight them at the moment. I mean, if the Ottomans took them out, that would be a different question. Then I might go and take that territory and Vienna. But I don't know if I want to go and... Well, the problem is, I know that's what the, the Prussians are after, and the AI is... In my imp Ooh, do I want to intercept that? No, because they're on both sides of me. So what I, the problem is, is the AI is very blunt in that when they want something, they will generally go after anyone they can to get it. They will not. That's quite useful. They started to push away from us, and I'm probably going to have to fight this, even though I, don't, I want to auto-resolve it, but I dare not, because of the damage we know auto-resolving does. Um, but yeah, my original logic... Going back to the Prussia debate, is that, well, the AI debate, is that if the AI wants Austria, they will go after whoever owns Austria, regardless of the logic. So, I don't think I'll do that for now. But let's actually fight this battle. Um, just because I know if I let the auto resolve do it, um, my army will take big losses, which will be super lame. But let's get ready to engage shouldn't be a particularly long nor difficult battle especially in this terrain ho ho okay you've got a crazy amount of men so the one curious factor might be 
the state of their mortars because they do have not mortars howitzers because they do have howitzers but i just like how elite this army is becoming an army that's done some hard campaigning and as a result it's quite a veteran formation pretty much across the board except for my howitzers but they are a newer a newer addition to the force and also they are firing quick lime okay so my I'm, I'm okay with all my artillery opening up on their guns and chiefly because we don't need to focus on any other targets so uh, they may burn powder oh no they've actually gone for how odd ordinarily the the AI is pretty pretty not bothered about going for other targets when there's artillery to be shot at the yeah, howitzers let's see it's just round shot no it's not it's quick lime no they're on to us all my guns split my field artillery and my howitzers to engage you guys need to run and let's in general push my line up comes it's some enemy skirmish cav Th they are going to try and skirmish well they were close range volley from the fifth that'll be why they're a force that's just been <laughs> well yeah that has been campaigning since uh, i started the campaign is that there Oh yeah, their artillery's gone. Well, let's pound the bejesus out of them then. With our guns. Let's push our cavalry around the flanks. Just to maybe get some use out of them. Let's take you guys and push you up. Let's spook those uh those are here comes the the muslim and there go the muslim <laughs> going to continue just because it's an army on the battlefield let's get my general involved let's just set people to engage whomever Hopefully, this uh, army will just disappear from the campaign map. And I mean, it should, really. It got absolutely pounded to hell. My uh, cavalry is having an absolute field day. Well, firstly, my artillery had a field day. 37 down to 14. Damn, they got away. That's quite a conclusive victory. We lost 76 men. Good stuff, I bet. Well, they wouldn't have given us that option um, through auto resolve. I'll, I'll just tell you that.
Yeah, I can't wait for my research to be done. I can finally abandon all my universities. The priest is on the move. There shouldn't be any other major nations that we have problems with. First and foremost, hop over to Spain. Okay, yeah, they're happy with us again, so you can just auto-resolve these rebels. Now they should really like us. There we go, positive eight. So you replenish and pick up a unit unit of cavalry. To pick up a unit of... Lance of Guards, you haven't got many of them. And they need to be ready to march south. You're going to continue pushing down here to put the squeeze on this chap. You guys, you're building a Lancer Guard unit, pick up some more troops. But, let's pick up a port upgrade. Two port upgrades. Actually, first, let's pick up trade port to be honest, make two trade ports there's no point making anything else not at this stage let's repair the governor's residence let's continue the replenishment let's upgrade the farm let's pick up two sloops ready to go and occupy those ports yeah i don't think i want to go up to vienna i'm more than happy to let the prussians just to let, the, to let the Ottomans just soak up the Prussian uh, anger. These men here are barely depleted. You guys are depleted, but you can recover on the way to Sarajevo. You guys push up with some support. Let's repair the, the uh, steam pumped ironworks. Let's repair this global trading company. You're still replenishing. Let's repair this unit here. Fleet destroyed. That was our raiding sloop. Although I did like what they did. Let's take these navies on the... We'll take these two fourth rates on a bit of a raiding grand and merry race. Collect some intelligence on their coastline. Get you back into Heracleon. Let's not upgrade you to a dry dock yet. Let's check our research. Wait. Did I accidentally destroy one of my own universities? Right, okay. As long as it's not Bologna, that's what matters. That's the one that's doing the real work. The heavy lifting. Because soon that'll be all of our industry techs done and then it's just finishing off some of these military ones. Okay, in which case then you are going to... Actually, no. To be honest, you're now one of my better universities. Now that other one's going to take some time to build up. Go for carronades. Dundee's got a water powered cloth mill. Good stuff. Okay, we don't really need any more armies created in England. Can maybe do with one in another one recruit being recruited in Italy. So when you're replenishing, you've got a couple of units are actually quite a bit depleted, so I don't really want to push on these guys too much. Don't want to do any raiding. Okay, let's pick up... Ah, can't recruit two units of line infantry guards. I can't recruit two units of you either. So, do you have any... Yeah, you do have power, it says you have cavalry. Yeah, 
yeah, create, recruit a unit of guards. You may as well. I've got a bit of time. So I want these guys to replenish a bit more. Same with you guys, really. Let's hit end turn. Just to allow a couple more, more of our agents to march on. I mean, yeah, that little garrison at Strasbourg is going to feel mighty uncomfortable um, in not very long if uh, if the Prussians and the Swedish were to declare on me. See, they're not pushing to... Okay, <laughs> that's like the most expensive raiding force I've uh, witnessed. Ooh, okay. They're all converging again onto Bulgaria. Well, they were. Well, we need to go take our armies to the field and help free up some of the... Uh, free up the garrison, really. Yeah, I do quite like the, the result that we're creating in Europe. We're going to start surrounding the Swedish on all their fronts. So rather than having one front across the Franco-German border they're going to have to start worrying about, you know, down here in Vienna we're going to push on to Prague and Breslau from the south it's pretty good, let's repair this factory, so you're going to start yeah, you're starting to produce a lot of good, good stuff um so I'll Sarajevo and then just demand the surrender <laughs> Send a Dragoon to the port to secure it. Upgrade the military governor's barracks. Build a church school here. Probably don't need this to be a pleasure garden. Upgrade the port. Upgrade the mine, sorry. Upgrade the roads. I forgot that in Zagreb. We've got our garrison sloops. To be honest, I could probably keep one of them parked in Trieste because they can't they can't send um, men down to actually occupy it. So let's move a militiaman over to Chiogia. Upgrade you to commercial basin. How are you still replenishing? You lost like no men. I think the only thing to do is to send this guy to go and hit Dana Haki Hali Halil Sakir. But first, I want to pick up another unit of guards and then maybe could I get one grenadier unit? Get two garrison guards. Actually, no. If this is an army that's pushing north, fusiliers are okay. They don't have as much melee capacity, but they're damn good in the fire in a firefight. So that's a good idea, I think. Upgrade this vineyard. Upgrade this port. I think we're going to take Giovanni Contarini. Actually, let's go ch quickly check on... Just send him to keep chasing down this army, because he will get to them. You guys march down to the bridge. Although, well, actually, that's a bad idea. I want to keep you down here by Madrid while they grow in strength. To be honest, may as well start to recruit an actual army there, if that's going to be the case. Yeah, let's get back to here. Let's start to free up some of this land in Bulgaria. Start to push up to this river, because there's one crossing. And there's another so ideally, I could march here, then hit them in this direction, hopefully to force them back across the river. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time um, for a little bit of a campaign to push the uh, Ottomans out of Bulgaria. Cheers everyone.